Blessed is our God, always now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, glory to your heavenly King, comfort and spirit of truth, present in all places and filling all things, treasury of good things and giver of life. Come, take your abode in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to the Orthodox over their adversaries and guard your commonwealth with your cross. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You are lifted up upon the cross of your own will, Christ our God. Grant your mercy upon the people that bear your name. In your strength, make glad the Orthodox, giving them victory over their adversaries. May they have your alliance as a weapon of peace and an invincible trophy. Now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen. O awesome and ever-present protection, do not overlook, O gracious one, our supplications. Most praise del Tokos, establish the Orthodox people. Save those whom you've called to govern and grant them victory from above. For you, blessed one, have given birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear us. And have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop Nathaniel. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we offer glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <laughs> now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all people. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. O Lord, why are they who afflict me multiplied? Many rise up against me. Many say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord has protected me. I will not be afraid of 10,000 people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, my God, for you have struck all who without cause are my enemies. You have broken the teeth of sinners, Salvation belongs to the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I have laid down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord has protected me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your wrath. For your arrows are fixed in me. You have pressed your hand heavily upon me. There is no health in my flesh in the face of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For my transgressions have risen higher than my head. They have pressed heavily upon me as a heavy burden. My bruises have become noisome and corrupt in the face of my foolishness. I have been wretched and bowed down utterly until the end. All day long I went with downcast face, for my soul is filled with mockiness, and there is no health in my flesh. I have been afflicted, and I have been greatly humbled. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. But, O oh Lord, all my desires before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and the light of my eyes is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew up against me and stood still, and my nearest relatives stood far off. And they who sought my soul used violence, and they who sought evil for me spoke vain things, and they meditated craftiness all day long. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and I was a speechless man who opened not his mouth. And I became a man who hears not and has no reproofs in his mouth. For I have hoped in you, O Lord. You will listen to me, O Lord, my God. For I, never, I said, never let my enemies rejoice over me. Yes, when my feet were shaken, those men spoke boastful words against me. 
for I'm ready for scourges and my sorrow is continually before me. I will declare my iniquity and be distressed for my sin. But my enemies live and are mightier than I, and they who hated me unjustly are multiplied. They who render me evil for good have slandered me because I followed righteousness. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Do not depart from me. Be attentive to my help, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, Lord my God. Be not far from me. Make haste to help me, Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, early at dawn I rise to you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a barren, untrodden, and unwatered land. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I shall praise praise you while I live, and I will lift up my hands in your name. Let my soul be filled with morrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me, but those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall be praised. By the mouths of those who speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is filled with evil, and my life draws near to Hades. I am counted with those who go down into the pit. I am like a man without help, adrift among the dead, like the bodies of the slain who sleep in the grave, whom you remember no more, and are cut off from your hand. They have laid me in the lowest pit in darkness and the shadow of death. Your wrath lies heavy upon me. You have afflicted me with all your waves. You have made me an abomination to them. I am shut up, and I cannot get out. My eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried to you, Lord, the entire day. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or shall physicians raise them up so that they might thank you? Shall any in the grave speak of your mercy and your truth in the place of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But as for me, I have cried out to you, Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul and turn away from me? I am a poor man and in trouble. From my youth, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Your fierce wrath has gone over me, and your terrors have solely troubled me. They came around me all day long like water. They engulfed me all together. You have put far away from me friend and neighbor and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. Bless the Lord, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, and forget not all that he has done for you. He forgives all your iniquities. He heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from corruption. He crowns you with mercy and compassion. He satisfies your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of mercy and justice for all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The Lord Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our iniquities, nor has he rewarded us according to our sins. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our iniquities from us. As a father has compassion upon his son, so has the Lord compassion upon those who fear him. For he knows what we are made of, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he blossom. For the wind passes over it, then it shall be gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity to eternity upon those who fear him, and his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all of his angels who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. 
Lord, hear my prayer in your truth. Give ear to my supplications in righteousness. Hear me and enter not into judgment with your servant for no one living is justified in your sight. For the enemy has pursued my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. And my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is distressed. I remembered the days of old. I meditated on all your works. I pondered on the work of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul longs for you like a thirsty land. Lord, hear me quickly, my spirit fails. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Let me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you have I put my trust. Lord, teach me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. To you have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me on a level path. Lord, for your name's sake, you shall preserve my life. And in your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of trouble. And in your mercy, you shall utterly destroy my enemies. And you shall destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Hear me, O Lord, in your righteousness, and enter not into judgment with your servant. Hear me, O Lord, in your righteousness, and enter not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me on a level path. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. O Lord, my hope, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> For the peace of the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God, and the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious Orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Nathaniel, the Honorable Presbyter, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, and those in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and parish, every city and land, and the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship <coughs> to the Father and to the Son <coughs> and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Theos Kyrios ke pephanen imin evlojim eros o erhomenos eronomati Kyriou. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations have surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This came about from the Lord and it is wonderful in our eyes. 
God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. When you descended into death, life immortal, you vanquished the power of hell by your resplendent divinity. And when you raised the dead from the depth of darkness, all the heavenly powers cried out triumphantly, oh, give of life, Christ our God, glory to you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, supremely blessed are you, O Christ our God. You did establish the Holy Fathers upon the earth as beacons, and through them you have guided us. All to the true faith, O greatly merciful one, glory be to you. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O pure one who were born for us of a virgin and endured crucifixion, who vanquished death by death and as God showed forth the resurrection, do not forget those you created by your own hand. Show your love, O merciful one, and accept on our behalf the intercessions of the Theotokos, who bore you and save us, O Savior, a desperate people. Oh. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed and glorious most Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory <coughs> of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. The Amen. The Honorable Joseph brought down your pure body from the tree and wrapped it in clean linen and in burial laid it in a new tomb. But you, O Lord, rose in three days, granting to the world your great mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The angel appeared at the tomb, cried out to the myrrh-bearing women. Myrrh is fitting for the dead, while decay is proven alien to Christ. Instead, proclaim, the Lord is risen, granting the world your great mercy. Now and always and forever and ever, amen. Your mysteries, O Theotokos, are beyond comprehension and glory. You gave birth to the true God and became a mother indeed. While you remain sealed in purity and in virginity, beseech him to save our souls. O oh Lord, you did not hinder the rock from sealing your tomb, but by your resurrection you gave us the rock of faith. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Your disciples and the myrrh-bearing women were joined in rejoicing. For we also share with them this common celebration, honoring and glorifying your resurrection. Through their intercessions, grant your great mercy to your people, O Lord. Now and always and forever and ever, amen. You are greatly blessed, O Virgin Theotokos. For Hades has been taken captive by him who was born of you. 
Adam was brought back. The curse was abolished. Eve was delivered. Death was put to death, and we were given life anew. In praise we cry aloud. Blessed are you, O Christ our God, who have shown your good pleasure. Glory to you. Ευλογητό η κύρια, διδαξών με τα δικαιώματα σου. The company of the angels was amazing. You who numbered among the dead, O Savior, who destroyed the power of death and raised up Adam with yourself. Setting all free from hell. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why mingle spices with tears of pity, O women disciples? Cried the resplendent angel from within the tomb to the myrrh-bearing women. Behold the tomb and understand, for the Savior has risen from the grave. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. The myrrh-bearing women hastened early in the morning to your tomb lamenting. But the angel arose before them and said, The time for lamentation has ceased. Weep not, but tell the apostles of the resurrection. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The myrrh-bearing women came to your tomb, O Savior. But they heard an angel say to them, Why count the living one? One among the dead, for his God, he has risen from the tomb. Save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious holy, Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you. For blessed is your name, and glorified is your kingdom, <coughs> of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The women went to the tomb after your passion to anoint your body, O Christ our God. They were astonished when they beheld a vision of angels, for they heard them crying with a loud voice, the Lord is risen and has granted the world great mercy. 
The eyes of my heart are raised unto the heavens, to you, O Savior. Save me by your illumination. O Christ, have mercy upon us, who transgress against you in many ways, and in every hour before our end. Give us the mercy of repentance acceptable to you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. The Holy Spirit is sovereign. He governs and sanctifies creation. For he is God, co-substantial with the Father and the Word. But for the Lord in our midst, who can be kept safe from the enemy that destroys man? Truly, my enemies roar like lions, O Savior. Do not deliver your servants to their teeth. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and always and forever and ever. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the principle of life and honor. As God, he invigorates all creatures and preserves them in the Father through the Son. I peppi thotas epikirione ika sinori toi. O you the most eleven the Roswell's to the Lear. They who live the divine life shall not reach out their hands to evil, for Christ will not deliver his inheritance to the evil one. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and always, and forever, and ever. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the font of all wisdom. To the apostles comes grace. The martyrs, the crowning in their struggles, and to the prophets, visions of the future. Exiertit the Kyrie Theos mu, and prostagmatio anatilo, ke synagogi laon kiklosis. Awake, O Lord my God, in your commanding will, and the assembly of people shall surround you. O Lord my God, I have hoped in you. Awake, O Lord, my God, in your commanding will, and the assembly of people shall surround you. You are risen from the grave, O mighty Savior. At the witness of this miracle, Hades is filled with fear. The dead rise. The whole of creation rejoices with you, O Savior. Adam exalts and the universe exalts you forever. Adam exalts and the universe exalts you forever. You are the light of those in darkness. You are the resurrection of all and the life of mortal man. And all are risen with you because you despoiled the might of death, O Savior. And you shattered the gates of Hades, O Logos. All mortals beholding this marvel were filled with marvel. All creation rejoices in your resurrection. Wherefore, we all glorify and sing praise to your condescension. The world, O loving one, Savior, sings your praise forevermore. The world, O loving Savior, sings your praise forevermore. The Son who shone forth from the Father was born of women into natures. Having beheld him, we do not deny the image of his form. Devoutly depicting it, we honor it in faith. Therefore, the Church, maintaining the true faith, venerates the icon of Christ incarnation. Venerates the icon of Christ incarnation. The all-holy, compassionate God, wishing to arouse in us the perfect, perpetual memory of His incarnation, gave to men the principle of depicting a revered form by painting icons, so that, seeing it before us, we may believe what we heard and word, learning clearly the deeds and the names the form and the struggles of holy persons. 
also learning of, cro of Christ the crown giver, who awards crowns to the saintly champions and martyrs. Through them, the Church, upholding the faith even more clearly, venerates the icon of Christ incarnation. Venerates the icon of Christ incarnation. On this, the 15th day of the month, we commemorate the holy priest martyr Lucian, presbyter of the great Antioch. On this day, the memory of our venerable father Savinos, the bishop. On this day, the memory of our venerable father and confessor Barsus, bishop of Edessa. On this day, the memory of the contest of a certain monk and martyr and the beneficial recounting of him. On this day, we commemorate the holy and blessed fathers who during the reign of the pious and Christ-loving monarchs Constantine and Irene convinced once again in Nicaea, convened once again in Nicaea against those who impiously and in ignorance and in consideration labeled the Church of God idolatry and removed the revered and holy icons. Through their holy intercessions, O oh God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I shall open my mouth and it shall be filled with the Spirit. And I shall sing praises to the Mother and Queen. And I shall be seen in radiant celebration, joyfully singing of all her wonders. Theotokos, living and bountiful fountain, strengthen the spiritual fellowship of those gathered who praise you. In your divine glory, deem them worthy of crowns of glory. The prophet Habakkuk, comprehending the unfathomable divine will, that you, the Most High, became incarnate of a virgin and cried out, Glory to your might, O Lord. The whole universe stood in amazement before your divine glory. For you, a virgin, without knowing wedlock, have in your womb the God of all, and gave birth to a son who existed before all time, rewarding all who praise you with his salvation. Come clap your hands, O godly people, as you celebrate the sacred and most honorable great feast of the Mother of God, glorifying God who was born of earth. The godly did not worship creation above the creator, but bravely overcame the threat of fire and rejoiced singing. Blessed are you, most praised Lord God of our Father. And O man of love, O man, keproskin O man ton kirion. The pious youths were preserved from the furnace by the child of the Theotokos, then prefigured in image, now in reality. He brings together the whole universe to sing. Praise the Lord, all you his works, and exalt him forever. Have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rests among the saints, and to you we give glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Everything that yes. breathes. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. <clears throat> the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. to you, O Lord, glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, we know no other, it is your name we sure. invoke. Whatever, whatever. Come, all you faithful, let us worship Christ's holy resurrection. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the multitude of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and victorious when you are judged. Evil. Lugar, ana mia sin elifthin, ken o martias akisi se me imitir mo. You shall sprinkle me with truth. For behold, you have loved truth. You have made known to me the secret and the hidden things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. You shall wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the afflicted bones may rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and establish me with your governing spirit. I shall teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall joyfully declare your righteousness. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would give it. You do not delight in whole burnt offering. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. God will not despise a broken and humbled heart. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you shall be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. And have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit through the intercessions of the apostles. O merciful one, remit them all 
multitude of our sins. Now and forever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O merciful one, remit the multitude of our sins. Κατά το μεγαλαιό σου και κατά το πλήθο των εκτερμών σου, εξαλείψον το ανώμημα μου. Άραστο, ο ίσω από του τάφου καθώ προείπεν, εδώ και ανημείν την αιώνιον ζωήν και μεγαλαιό. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable heavenly bodiless powers, supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and baptizer John, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, the holy, <coughs> great, <coughs> our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon of Trimethus, Nectarius of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Demetrius the Merce Streamer, Theodore the Recruit, Theodore the Commander, Minos the Wonder Worker, Haralambos and Eleftherios, the Hieromartyrs, the Holy Glorious, Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious Great Martyr, and all laudable Ephemia, the Holy Glorious Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kyriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, our venerable and godly ascetic fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Dana, the holy fathers of the Seventh Ecumenical Council, whose memory we celebrate today and of all your saints. We beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Domine lu yeste, Domine lu yeste, Domine lu yeste. Yara burkam, Yara burkam, Yara burkam. Mercy, compassion, and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Tinti mi oter Antonia Ruvim, can dox oter on our syncretos ton seraphim. Tina the authoros, the onlog on the cousin. Tinondos the hotog on sem megalinom. Because he has regarded the humility of his handmaid, behold, henceforth. All generations shall call me blessed, more honored than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word. You are truly Theotokos. We magnify you. Because he who is mighty has done me great things, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generation to those who fear him. More honored than 
the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word. You are truly the Ghost. We magnify you. He has shown might in his arm. He has scattered the proud in the mind of their heart. More honored than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word. You are truly Theotokos, we magnify you. He has taken down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and the meek. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has aided Israel, a servant being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. More honored than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word. You are truly Theotokos, we magnify you. Let every mortal being radiate light and live joyfully in spirit. Let all angelic powers celebrate and honor the holy wonders of the Mother of God and cry aloud, Hail, most blessed, pure, and never virgin, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and to you we offer up glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Aios Kyrios O Theosimon Holy is the Lord our God Exalt the Lord our God And worship at His footstool For holy is He <laughs> Mary beheld two angels within The tomb and was struck with awe she did not recognize the Christ, thinking him to be the gardener. She asked her, where have you now placed the body of my sweet Jesus? And she knew by his voice he was the Savior when he said, do not touch me, but tell my brethren that I go unto my Father. Heaven-minded fathers assembled in the seventh council offer a fervent prayer to the Trinity that we may be delivered from all heresy and eternal judgment that we who praise your holy gathering may be granted the kingdom
kingdom of heaven. Through the prayers of your mother, most benevolent Lord, and of the fathers assembled in the seven councils, make firm the church and strengthen the faith. And when you return to to judge all creation, give us all who share in your heavenly kingdom. <speaking in Hebrew> And Praise him, all you his hosts. To you, O oh God, praise is due. To execute on them the written judgment. This is glory for all is faithful. All creation glorifies you with every breath, O oh Lord. By the cross you abolished death, that your resurrection from the dead be made known to all the nations. For you alone are the loving one. Praise the Lord in his holy places. Place him in the firmament of his strength. Answer, O oh Jews, how did the guardian soldiers loose the king they were guarding? How could not the stone contain the rock of life? Give us who, him who is buried. Or worship us, him who is risen, proclaiming glory to the multitude of your mercies, O Savior, glory to you. Praise him for his mighty deeds, praise him for the fullness of his majesty. Rejoice, all you nations, and be glad. For the angel has sat on the stone of the grave and given us the glad tidings, saying, Christ, the Savior of the world, is risen from the dead. He has filled everything with the sweets and rejoice, all you nations, and be joyful. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the harp and the lyre. Before you were conceived, O oh Lord, our God, an angel announced this greeting to her who is full of grace. Now an angel has rolled the stone from your tomb made glorious by your resurrection. The first angel spoke with expressions of joy instead of sorrow, and the latter brought us the glad tidings of the Lord who gives life instead of death. Therefore we cry to you, O oh benefactor, glory to you, O oh Lord. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and pipe, praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with symbols of triumph. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. All in synchrotis on this, tintis psychis epistimin, get of the opnematis in the askepsamen ito makarion, kesepton symbolo isepti pateros, theographos the echaraxon, and no savesta teto yenicotis and sinanarhon, ton logon edidascusi. Que banalizó su moción, testo un apostolón, e pomeni prodilas de 
διδαχές η ευκλαγής και πανόλμη όντως και Θεόφρονες Praise Him with resounding Blessed symbols Praise Him with symbols of triumph Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers Praised and glorified is your name throughout the ages Amen The blessed fathers Divinely inspired and having received The fullness of the intellectual Splendor of the Holy Spirit Proclaimed their noteworthy declaration of unlimited wisdom in limited words as leaders and preachers of Christ they received from on high clear revelation of gospel doctrine and of our pious traditions thus enlightened they set forth the canon of faith taught by God. Gather about him his loyal ones who made a covenant with him by sacrifices. The holy shepherds as true servants of Christ and revered initiates of divine preaching summoned the whole of their pastoral knowledge. They were then moved to a justified wrath and justifiably expelled the savage and ravenous wolf from the fullness of the church. They hurled the slaying of the, the Holy Spirit at them, felling them as to their death and as incurably afflicted. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. When the Council of Holy Fathers from far and wide had convened. They defied the dogma of the one sons and nature of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and they hand down the formula of this mystery of theology unto the church. Let us with faith call them blessed and extol them and say, O divine battalion, artillery of theologians of the Lord's own army. You are luminaries who shine like the stars in the spiritual towers a mystical Zion fragrant flowers of paradise the soul of the Lord's own word. 
the pride and joy of Nicaea and celebrities of Christendom, we implore you earnestly intercede for our souls. Now and always and forever, amen. You are greatly blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, for Hades has been taken captive by him who was born of you. Adam was brought back, the curse was abolished, Eve was delivered, death was put to death, and we were given life anew. In praise we cry aloud, Blessed are you, O Christ our God, who have shown your good pleasure. Glory to you. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for the splendor of your glory. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Accept our prayer, you who are enthroned at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, amen. Each day I will bless you and sing your name forever and to the ages of ages. Lord, grant that we may be kept this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers. Praise and glorified is your name throughout the ages, amen. Let your mercy be upon us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, you have been for us a refuge from one generation to the next. I said, Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, in you I've taken shelter, teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For in you is the wellspring of life, and in your light we shall see the light. Extend your mercy to those who confess you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord. To have mercy on us. Ah, ye ho so theos, ah, ye ho sis heroes, ah, ye ho sathanatos eleisonimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and always and forever, amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Today's salvation now has come to all of the world. 
Let us sing to the author of our life, who is risen from the grave. For by vanquishing death by his own death, he has granted us eternal life and his great mercy. Master, give the blessing. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Nathaniel, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, for the President, and for all in public service, <clears throat> let us pray to the Lord. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O ti prepi si pasadoxa ti mi ke proskinisis to patri, ke to io, ke to agio pnevmati, nin ke ai ke istus eonas, to neonon. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Who's 
help is the God of Jacob, his hope is in the Lord his God. So so we must see a fellow stars at the throne. The Lord shall reign forever, your God was high unto all generations.
for you are just in all that you have done. Wisdom, the reading is from St. Paul's letter to Titus. Let us be attentive. Titus, my son, the same is sure. I desire you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to apply themselves to good deeds. These are excellent and profitable to men. But avoid stupid controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels about the law, for they are unprofitable and futile. As for a man who is factious, after admonishing once or twice, knowing that such a person is preferred than sinful, he is self-condemned. When I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me and Nicopolis, for I have decided to spend the winter there. Do your best to speed Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their way, and see that they lack nothing. And let our people learn to apply themselves to good deeds, so as to help cause cases of urgent need, and not to be unfruitful. All who are with me send greetings to you. Greet those who love us in the faith, and grace be with you all. Amen. the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, and they may not believe and be saved. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while, and in time of temptation, fall away. And as for what fell among the thorns, they are those who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not mature. And as for those that, it, as for the, as for that in the good soil, they are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart, and bring forth fruit with patience. And as he said these things, he cried out. He who has ears to hear, <laughs> let him hear. Peace be to you, proclaim the gospel. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Please be seated. Please. 
we have these wonderful Gospels. And if we come every Sunday, we hear all of these Gospels. Every year, just about the same time. And there are some of them that we really love more than others. Some of them are really powerful. I think we like the ones that we can visualize. You can visualize the prodigal son going off. And you can be in the shoes of his father when he sees his prodigal son coming back, and you're there in the conversation with a good son. We, lo we love the ones we can feel like we're there. This is one we can visualize, isn't it? We, we, we can see the, the seeds being spread, um, and we can understand that some of the seeds are going to fall on rocks, and some of the seeds are going to fall on infertile land, and some of the seeds are going to fall on thorns, and some of the seeds are going to fall on fertile land and increase a hundredfold, and that's what we want. That's what we want, and we get it. And even in this particular gospel, Jesus explains to the apostles, people need parables, and this is what the parable means. And then he finishes it and he says, those who have ears, let them hear. Well, <laughs> that's not a whole lot of instruction. Um, I think we need a, we, we, we say, okay, I want to be the person that spreads the, my seeds into the fertile, fertile ground. Um, please go on. But it doesn't go on. It's done. So we have to get the please go on from other sources. And of course, we have plenty of those sources. Um, St. Paul wrote a lot of them. I'm going to quote St. Paul in a few minutes uh, in a way that I think is useful. Because, I mean, I, I think these Gospels are meant to be useful for us. Uh, for, if, if nothing else, we are fed on a Sunday with a Gospel and a message. And we get something we can hold on to from that message until next Sunday. At least that. And of course, we build on it all the time, don't we? We really hope to build on it. So, I have a few thoughts that I hope might be useful in how we can be the people that are successful farmers. Because that's what we want to be. We want to be the most successful farmers. We want to cast our seeds out and have them grow a hundredfold and therefore, because of that, we can spread the Word of God. It's not, if, if we succeed in that, it's not going to benefit just us. It's going to benefit people we come in contact with. And we're going to become expansive, and so will the church. So I, I, have, a, I have three things that I thought I might talk about that are ways that, that it might be useful. Um, but first, I'm going to give you a quote, and this is not from the Bible. We are what we repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence is not an act, but a habit. We've heard that before. It's a very famous quote. Who said it? Who wrote it? Don't be shy. Aristotle. Everybody says that's Aristotle. We are what we repeatedly do. We are what we repeatedly do. And Aristotle, you know, he's not one of the fathers of the church, but a lot of the fathers of the church wrote things and, and developed their thought based on Aristotle. Perhaps more in the West, we're more Plato. We're, we're in the East, we're a little bit more mysterious. We, we're more Platonic. Aristotle had rules for everything. Plato said, the only thing I really know is that I don't know anything. And that's kind of our sense of the Eastern mystery. But Aristotle said that. He didn't really say that. Here's what he said. Virtues are formed in man by his doings, the actions. So it's the same thing. The, the historian, Will Durant, is the one who actually said, we are what we repeatedly do. And he said that in a book that he wrote about philosophy when he is distilling what Aristotle said. So we are what we repeatedly do. So we want to have good habits. We want to have good habits. So that's, what, that's I think, one of the best ways to be fertile farmers. To be fertile farmers. So I have three. Here's one. There's always a little bit of an introduction. I just did a, a play. I like to act as, as a hobby. And I, that we had a, a wonderful play called The Devil and Daniel Webster. You might know this story. Um, a, a, a farmer in New England named Caleb Stone was having a hard time. And at one point he said, man, if the, I'd sell my soul to the devil if I got help. And the devil heard him and the devil gave him help. And his soul was signed over to the devil and Daniel Webster. The great American statesman came and defended him in court and saved his soul. And saved his soul. In this group that did the show, 
Um, it was an evangelical Christian group. It was a tremendous theater group in a huge theater in a huge Bible church. And it was, they are wonderful people. But they were all Protestant Christians of an, of an evangelical type um, who prayed at every rehearsal. And the play was written by the director of the group with a very Christian message. The original story of the devil and Daniel Webster does not have a particularly Christian message, but they unashamedly and unabashedly wrote it to be a very Christian message. And we rehearsed a lot and we prayed a lot. And the, and the members of the cast would lead the prayers. We're not used to those so much because the, the cast would, would, would start praying. It would be almost stream of consciousness. So they pray for the audience and they pray that the message be got by the audience. And if there was anybody in the audience who was having trouble, they, we prayed for them. This was an unusual way of praying for we Orthodox who rely on the prayers of our fathers because they are so beautiful and something we can really hang on to. Um, and at the very end, that before, after the la before the last performance when we're praying, I, I, and they knew I'm a priest, and you know, they didn't get me exactly. Um, on, the, on, on August 15th when I told them that it was a great feast, they only kind of heard me. Um, uh, and, and, and our devotion to Mary was kind of strange to them. Um, but I said, you know, at the end of this, all, we have a prayer. And, I'd like, and, and, and the, the president of the group had just given a 10-minute prayer. And, and I said the prayer, and it's the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I said, we say that prayer a lot, and we call it the Jesus prayer. And that man, the president of the group, who had just given a 10-minute prayer, and I'm not exaggerating, he said, you know, in those 12 words is everything I just said. Is everything I just said. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. So, I think the first of the three things I'm going to suggest that we do to be fertile farmers is to inject prayer in our life more often and not worry about its form or that it be too fancy. That's 12 words. And it's easy to remember. It's in three, three, four, and two. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Most of you probably already know it. But the monks say it over and over again. And when I can't fall asleep, I say it. And after I say it three or four times, I'm asleep. It's, it's a tremendously useful manifestation of what we know to be the rule of pray unceasingly. So I suggest to you, pray unceasingly. Pray simple, short prayers, that one over and over. When you, when you say something offensive to another driver, say, oh, Lord, forgive me. Nobody else hears it. But you, and, uh, and when you need help, say, Lord, help me. Those are prayers. Pray unceasingly. Um, the second thing I'd suggest is, uh, this is from Philippians, the greatest... Uh, on, on, on the greatest, it's hard. <laughs> there are no greatest passages. Um, but Philippians 4, 8, uh, on Palm Sunday, the church has chosen that to be our epistle. And, and it finishes like this, you know it. Um, Finally, brethren, whatsoever is true, whatsoever is honest, whatsoever is just, pure, lovely, of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Think on these things. So that's the second tip. Think about good stuff. Surround yourself with good stuff. Eschew the bad stuff. Don't deal with the bad stuff. Get off the phone. Uh, when I say phone, not talking to people. Get off the phone that has TikTok or whatever it is that you watch. I mean, surround yourself with good stuff. Surround yourself with Aristotle or Will Durant, the, the historian who wrote. I'll, I'll bet you at least 20 people in this congregation have the the, 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 the story of civilization, the 12 books that Will, Will Durant wrote that you used to get for the Book of the Month Club. If you, if you join the Book of the Month Club, you get those 12 books, then you have to buy four more. But I'm old. I remember these things. Most of you don't. But I'll bet you there's 20 houses at least here that have the 12 volumes of the story of civilization by Will Durant. Read those. Surround yourself with the good things. I don't need to say too much about that. We know what's good. We know how we benefit from surrounding ourselves with good things. We feel better. We are better. We are better. And you know what's not good. You know what's not wholesome. Wholesome's a good word. Surround yourself with wholesome things. And try to stay away from things that aren't. 
The third thing. Um, I suggest... Let me start again. My wife grew up Catholic. She's an Irish girl. And she saw that... I was not a priest. I was a lawyer in the army. And uh, she saw that my church was more important to me personally than her church was to her, even though she was a churchgoer. And she very early committed herself to becoming Orthodox. But, you know, that, that happens sometimes out of a sense of obligation. You know, you know your spouse is doing it for you. You want them to be doing it for themselves. Um, and so sometimes, if you're lucky like I was, there's a magic moment when your wife comes up to you and says, you know, the Orthodox Church is about love and forgiveness in a way that I never experienced growing up. What a gift that was to me. Let me say it again. She says to me, Nico, the Orthodox Church is a church of love and forgiveness in a way that I've never experienced growing up. There it was, the greatest gift she could give me. And uh, I can't even remember if she'd been chrismated by then or not, because we waited five years before she, after our marriage before she was chrismated. Forgiveness. There is no power, power in the universe greater. Forgiveness. Well, lo- let's, let's make a troika. We do things in threes in our church a lot, don't we? Love, forgiveness, and reconciliation. There are examples in history of that that we can draw on. So we have the philosophy, we have the church and its own writings, and we also have history to look at. What better example than Lincoln's second inaugural address when at the very end of the Civil War, when more American boys had been killed than in all of our other wars put together, he gathered on the steps of the White House, and the war was going to be over in just one month because it was March 19, 1865. And he said, with, charity, with malice toward none and with charity for all, let us work together and rise together and bind up our nation's wounds. What an example. Um, it's not just ancient history. When... when South Africa went through what it went through. Nelson Mandela was in prison for a long time. He was a terrorist. He had blood on his hands. He changed when he was in jail. He changed when he was, when he was released after decades of unjust imprisonment, but perhaps not unjust because he had blood on his hands. He was a different man. And working with the apartheid prime minister of that country, they, they bound up the nation's wounds. They even established... A commission on, on, of reconciliation, of truth and reconciliation commission. And they won the Nobel Peace Prize. It's not a perfect country now, but it's much better than it was before. And that's a great example to us of, of, of forgiveness and reconciliation. We can do it. And so if we're going to be fertile farmers, and this is farm country, just like central Illinois is, just a little bit different. You grow different stuff. We grow soybeans in central Illinois. Um, If you want to be fertile farmers, resolve today to be Abraham Lincoln, to be Nelson Mandela, to be F.W. de Klerk, and go out today and effectuate a reconciliation. You might do it in the coffee hour. You have a coffee hour here, I assume. There might be people in there with whom you've become estranged, people who are your friends, but maybe not. You, you might need to make a phone call. You may, not, might need to really reach out. But, but reach out to someone and, and effectuate a reconciliation. It is the greatest thing you can do for yourself and for them as well. And if you think it's hard, I'm going to make it harder. Choose a person whom you know was wrong. Choose a person where you know you were in the right. And they were badly in the wrong. First of all, you might be wrong about that. But choose somebody where you're convinced they were wrong, you are right, and call them up and say, I'm sorry that the years, I'm sorry that harsh words, I'm sorry that this has come between us. I loved you before, I love you still. Effectuate a reconciliation. It might be hard to find someone like that, or you may need a first step to do that. Okay, go to your neighborhood and knock on the door of the person across the street who you don't even know, 
or whom you haven't seen for a long time. Make friends of the people that you don't have any words with. You see them, but you haven't established a Christ-like relationship with them. Do it. That's what we want to do. We want to be Christ-like. Theosis is our goal. Let's do it. Um, so, pray unceasingly. The Jesus prayer is a good place to start. Think about the good stuff. Surround yourself with the good stuff. Sweep away the bad stuff. And forgive. Love, forgive, and have a reconciliation. And do that regularly. Do it every Sunday. And after a while, after you've had all your reconciliations, it's going to be fun. You're going to call your aunt in Greece or in Lebanon or wherever and say, I miss you. I just, you know, make it a Sunday habit. I think those three things are pretty clear. I'm going to say one more thing, and I'm going to, I'm going to point out somebody that I know who does that regularly. And I'm going to ask you to pray for him. Because I'm in, I'm in Minneapolis today. This is Minneapolis, right? Not St. Paul? I'm in Minneapolis today um, because I'm a cousin of Chris Granius. Many of you know Chris Granius. He's, a, he's my cousin. He's a composer and a musician. Um, he's a tremendously ecumenical guy. He goes to every church. He believes in the message of every church. He's been, he, he's, but he's here often. He's belonged to many churches. His wife belongs to an Episcopal church. He is the most church-going religious believing man I know. He also does all of the things that I just suggested you should do. He calls me and says, Cuz, please call my friend. It would be a good thing for him to hear from you. He completely, completely <clears throat> puts aside his own ego for others. The concert, we're doing a concert. I'm sorry, I didn't complete the thing. Chris has MS. Chris has pretty serious multiple sclerosis. For seven years, he's been doing a benefit concert in October. The last three were online because of COVID, and I sent, I sent uh, videos, and he put them into the concert. And today is going to be live. But Chris has had a very, very hard year. And Chris went to the ICU Friday night with pneumonia. He was put in a room yesterday and this morning he went back in the ICU because he has a high fever. Um, he's the toughest of characters. He's half my size, but he's stronger than me. He's better than me in every way. Um, that's why I came for Chris. Pray for Chris. Pray for his recovery. Um, the longer he does the things that he does in life, the better it is for the world. This is a benefit concert for, for other people who have MS. He has never complained about his fate. He is a giver. So I guess maybe that's the fourth thing. If we want to be good farmers, let's also be givers. God bless us, everyone. That ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. by the kind of desires.
worthy to offer you these gifts, for you are the one who both offers and is offered, the one who has received the distributed of Christ of God and the offer our story with your Father to God the King. And you're all holy to the light, gracious spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us submit to your representative and to the Christ we need to the life giving Trinity, now and inside the world we care. Now we may receive the King of all. Είστε χαίρομαι εμείς οι κόσοι γονείς μου και ζωπιώ τριάδι των ύμνων της Άιων προσάδοντας πάσαν τη βιωτική να ποθώνω τα νοηνάν ως τον βασλέ των όλων υποδεξόμενοι. Amen. Amen. May the Lord our God forgive those who hate us and those who love us. God be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy on me. Lift up the things of the holy places and bless the Lord. The Lord has gone up with a shout, the King of Israel, by the sound of a trumpet. <coughs>
May the Lord God remember all of us in his kingdom, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages.
seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. This kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is rich to glorify, who spoke to the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism of forgiveness of sins, I expect the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand arise, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, our sacrifice of prayer.
Once again we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. And we beseech and pray and entreat you send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Bless Master the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Bless Master the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Bless Master both the holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So let me be to this party. Before you're not in judgment for condemnation. Again, we offer to you this scriptural worship to those who repose in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, mothers, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists. <laughs>
Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Christ, 
burn up my sins with spiritual fire, and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that we can for joy I may magnify the Holy One to your two comings. How shall I, O unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not of my heart, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Body Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not be solely give speech to my condemnation, because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body, and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. And it is good for me to cling to God, and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. So I think the children come up now. Is that right? Children, come on up. It's nice to see you. I think some people are already groaning because they say, Father Nick is very long-winded. <laughs> Boy, it's so good to see you all. What a beautiful sight. Um, so, some of you were here when I talked before, and you might remember a little bit of it, but I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about one more thing that's really important if we want to be successful Christians, if we want to be good, good children of Jesus, if we want to be good farmers, um, and we want, to be, we want to have gratitude. So, what's another word for gratitude? When, you're, when you have gratitude, you are what? Come on. You know, you know, what, what's, what, what's the big thanks, what, what's the big holiday where we eat turkey before Christmas? Yes, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And what's the root word of Thanksgiving? The first part of it. Thanks, yes, gratitude and thanks are the same thing. And it's really, really important to have gratitude, to be thankful. And I've got to tell you, um, you have a lot to be thankful for. Just in this church, for me as a priest, I don't get to see 50 kids like this. This is fantastic. Do you know how lucky you are to have so many classmates in Sunday school? You really are lucky. And you're lucky to have parents that care about you. You have wonderful teachers. You have wonderful teachers. You're all pretty young. I mean, who's the oldest? Anybody here 10? Is anybody 10? You're 10. That's probably about the oldest, right? Anybody 11? You are 11. All right. Yeah, 11? Okay. About being grateful, about being thankful for everything you have. Um, it it will, won't be long before you're 18. Do you believe that? 18? Can you wait until you're 18 or 19? What happens when you're 18? Yes. You become an adult. You become an adult. Boy, I hope you do. I'm still trying to become one myself. Um... Yeah, I still think of myself as Topedi, Tope, the kid, right? Topedi. Do, do any of your aunts, when you call, and then, who is it? Topedi, it's the kid. I, I still hear that about myself. So when you're 18, you get, become an adult, things change, don't they? Right now, if you have troubles, you're surrounded by your family and your teachers and the fathers here. You have so many priests and Deacons, you're so blessed. If you, if you fall down and scrape your knee, somebody's going to pick you up, right? If you, if you don't make the cheerleading, if you don't get an A at school, your parents are going to say, that's okay. Let's, I love you anyway. Um, work harder. Um, at some point when you're 18, you're going to go away and you're going to go to college. Are you going to get married? Can you imagine being married? Are you going to go in the army? Or are you going to have a job? So you're going to move away from home. Can you imagine moving away from home? When you move away from home and you, you're going to, for the first time, have a problem where your family's not there to help you or the church isn't there to help you. And that's when you have to remember how lucky you are. You have to remember this church. You have to remember that beautiful icon of Jesus and his, and his apostles. What's, what's that icon called? 
What are they doing? They're having... Yes, sir. You know? That icon right there. They're having dinner. <laughs> yes, they are having dinner. It's a really good dinner, too. It's kind of sad, though. Yeah. The Last Supper. The last supper. It's the last time they're going to eat together before Jesus goes on the cross. It's really an important thing. You're going to remember that icon. You're going to remember those, pre- those, those followers of his, what, what close friends they were. And you're going to think, when I was at church and in Sunday school and activities, I had friends just like that. I had friends I could lean on. And you're going to miss them. And you're going to say, that's what's going to get me through this hard time. Jesus, and all the wonderful things I learned at church, all the wonderful examples that Jesus gave us. The altar boys are listening with a little bit different ear because some of them are almost 18. And I'll tell you that when you become 18 and you go away, it's really true. You're going to fail for the first time. I mean, you might fail now, but if you fail now, if if your girlfriend dumps you, or if you don't make the team, or if something goes wrong, you have the warm embrace of everybody here. But then you go off to college, or you join the army, or you get married, and you don't have everybody here. And that's when you call on the things you got from here. That's when you call on the memories here. That's when you call on your memory of that big, goofy priest from Chicago that came and stood and talked to us about things I didn't really understand. But that will work. That will help you. That will help you. And that is the greatest source of help we have. Who's your best friend in the whole world? And there's a lot of good answers to this. But I want to hear, who's your best friend in the whole world? Yes. Him. Congratulations, young man. (laughs) That's great. Who else is your best friend in the whole world? There are other good answers for that. I'm looking for one in particular. Calvin's your best friend. Where's Calvin? I don't get to shake his hand, do I? Okay. Who's... Yes, sir. Who's your best friend in the whole world? Scarlet. Okay. I'm looking for somebody older. (laughs) Yes, sir. Me? (laughs) Well, that's a great thing. If you can have the self-confidence to call on yourself, that's good. That's good, but it's got to be, it's got to be right, okay? Got to be right. Yes, sir. Jesus, come on, you knew that answer, didn't you? Don't you know that Jesus is your best friend in the world? Jesus loves me, yes, I know, for the Bible tells me so. Ever hear that? Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. He's your best friend. When Calvin's not there to help you, (laughs) Jesus will be there. Jesus will be there. So, just be grateful for everything. It's already October. We'll have Thanksgiving. So when you sit around your table, here's what I'd like you all to do. Say to your mom and dad or your aunt and uncle or even your grandmother who's running the dinner, say, Grandma, I want to take time out, and I want each of us to say what we're thankful for. What we're thankful for. And I hope that most of you start off by saying Jesus. Okay? Amen. It sure is nice to be with you. Now, you, now you follow the instructions of the ushers so that we can all take communion and receive the body and blood of Jesus who will give us strength this week. With fear of God, faith and love draw near. Meta favuteu pistios que agapes pro self Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. 
Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. Behold, I approach Christ, our immortal King and God. The servant of God. The servant of God. The servant of God. Servant of God Constantino receives the body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Constantino. With Constantino. Constantino. Soma Kema Christu is Safis in the Martyrian Kesu to the Onion. The Servant of God Alexandra the Aconis receives the body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ for the mission of sins and life everlasting. Praise the Servant Lord, God. praise the Lord, Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights, praise him all his angels, praise him all his hosts, praise him sun and moon, praise him all you shining stars, praise him you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Talvani Lucio Panayotis, Soma Kama Christu, this afternoon, Kizutunion. Servant of God, Georgia. Servant of God, Georgia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah, you try and wipe them and then if it looks like they're a little wet. Servant of God, Phoebe, receives the body and blood. Open up wipe. Our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Hang on, Phoebe. Hang on, Phoebe. See the body and blood. Mission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Servant of God. Hermela receives the body and blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ for the mission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Let them praise the Servants name of, of the Lord, for he commanded and they Jesus were the created. He established them forever the and ever. He I fixed their bonds which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth. You see monsters and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth. Young man and like old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, his glory is above earth and
Perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Bestow upon them the blessed life which is from you, O loving Lord. Within your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father, give the blessing. May the blessing and the mercy of the Lord come upon you. Through his divine grace and love for mankind, always known forever and to the ages of ages. Receive our worship of this Sunday. Blessed is the offering of your servants in your holy church, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. First of all, memory eternal to those whom we have commemorated today, uh, 40 days for the infant Theo, one year for George, and for Father Daniel. Uh, just as he passed uh, um, early last last weekend. And just as a reminder for everyone, I know a lot of people perhaps knew him. All of the services will be at St. George Antiochian Church out in West St. Paul. This evening there will be the Trisagion. And tomorrow, of course, the uh, liturgy along with, uh, along with the funeral service for a clergyman. Uh, the obituary announcements, I, I believe, have been uh, introduced. Um, a couple of announcements of uh, housekeeping. Missions and outreach launch today. Please attend and be generous. St. Olympia, the Deaconess Program for Girls, uh, will be launched uh, today. Please be sure to join in. And uh, the last announcement is, uh, well, two more. October 29th, we have our parish assembly, and all of us uh, will be able to, um, to learn some, uh, some uh, exciting things that are going to uh, come, up, come up in the next year at, uh, at our church. So please be sure to be there. We'll try to expedite it. But aside from that, we will have food. Food that will be prepared by a pancake brunch, prepared by the Sunday school uh, uh, parents and uh, students, and you will have the opportunity to donate to support their the needs of the Sunday school. And uh, last but certainly not least, today we welcome in our midst Father Nicholas Grenyas, who is from. Uh, the Kankakee Parish, Kankakee, Illinois Parish in our metropolis, who uh, is here especially, as some of you have heard already, to visit uh, our, our de dear fellow parishioner, uh, Chris Ranius, who unfortunately just early this morning again went into ICU. Please keep him in your prayers. As you all know, he has been struggling for several years quite, uh, quite severely. Please approach for the Antidoron. Christ is in our midst. Father, would you like to? You are glorious. 
glorified above all, O Christ our God, who established our fathers as radiant stars upon the earth. And so through them we all are guided to the true faith. O compassionate Lord, glory to you. You are glorified above all. O Christ our God, who established our fathers as radiant stars upon the earth, and so through them we all are guided to the true faith. O compassionate Lord, glory be unto you.